What's up all you moto fanatics? I'm Dino and this is Dino Motor Reviews and today we're going to be going over the FMF exhaust system that I put on my 2005 Honda CRF 450R. Now guys, just a disclaimer before we jump into this review, I'm not a professional rider. I'm not sponsored by any of the products that are on my channel or on my bike. I'm not sponsored by any of the companies that I purchased the products through. The companies of which I purchased the products through, they're just companies that have taken really good care of me over the last few years. And some of them have free shipping on orders over $75. And the products, well, I've had them on my bike a few years and thought I'd give you my thoughts and opinions about the product. And just remember guys, this is an opinion-based channel. So don't take what I say to heart. If you feel strongly about another product or about the same product, put it in the comments down below so that myself and others can take a look at it. And maybe it's a product that you convince us on putting on our bikes in the future. And just to let you guys know, if you're coming back to the channel, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel and you like the video and you like what we're doing here, give us a thumbs up, give us a like. And if you really like us, click subscribe if you feel so inclined. And then if you click subscribe, you might as well click the bell notification icon for future videos that will be released and be the first to view them before anybody else. Okay, so now that we got that out of the way, guys, let's jump right into the review. So on my bike here, we have the Mega Bomb FMF header pipe. And then we have the Q4 silencer or muffler. had a really hard time getting these because COVID slowed a lot of things up and we all went through that deal together. It was rough. Um, so I had a hard time getting FMF parts. They were back ordered. Uh, a lot of places just didn't have them in stock. My own local shop couldn't get anything. Um, so it was a really dire straight times in that aspect. It left me going to eBay, getting about four times, I think, I spent money on wrong parts. You couldn't return them. Um, so it was, a, it was a rough time period, and I, it was rough for everybody. So, um, But eventually, I was able to get the header pipe first. I had the motor tore apart, so I wasn't in a huge rush. But regardless, you still want to have all the parts and components so you can just put it together and be done with it. So I finally got a hold of the FMF Mega Bomb header pipe. And what this pipe has done is it smooths out that uh, low to mid range power band up into the high range. And it just, it smooths it out. It actually increases horsepower a little bit. It's taken me a little bit of time to learn how to manage the horsepower properly. And a lot of that's been through proper riding technique. There's tons of uh, videos out there that show you how to do proper riding technique. Um, that's a topic for another video. Um, also with working out in the gym, that's helped a lot as well. Um, so some qualms that I have with the Mega Bomb header pipe, it sticks out a little further than some of your other uh, stock or standard header pipes. And I've melted a lot of pants on, these, on this header pipe because it does stick out. Um, I've switched up my pants, tried to get pants with larger leather knees. Of course, uh, when I fell over and picked the bike up one time at a race, I ended up brushing my butt and my leg up against it and melted the side of my pants. So that's the only qualm that I have with this. There's ways around that. You can get a pipe guard from FMF or from a few other manufacturers will make pipe guards for the FMF Mega Bomb header pipe. Um, or you can do heat tape and wrap it around. The, the only thing that I have with the heat tape is the exhaust pipe already gets really hot. So why put something on it that's just going to retain that heat and make it hotter? Um, it will help uh, keep your pants in better working order. But that's, that's totally up to you guys. Do what you want there. Uh, for me, I try to buy pants that are on sale. So I kind of avoid the, ma the major expense because I know gear has gotten way more expensive than it used to. So um, moving on back, we have the Q4 silencer. 
And what the Q stands for is quiet, hence Q4. So what it is is it's to quiet down the pipe a little bit. So it runs a little quieter than your factory 4.1 um, muffler. And it will also come with a spark arrestor. Um, we'll get into that here in just a sec. So this one will have a little extra packing to quiet down the bike. It also helps smooth out that horsepower. Um, this thing is said to be producing for most bikes 94 decibels and haven't tested it with the decibel meter and I haven't dyno tuned this bike to see what the horsepower is and everything. Um, and also to check the sound, I haven't done any of that. So other than that, I'm just going to kind of go with what they said on the website at Rocky Mountain ATV MC. Um, but as far as that goes, it is a, is a good exhaust system. I like the sleek look. Um, I had on the bike prior, I had the power bomb header pipe, which was pretty bent up. I still have it as a backup. It works. It still works great. It's just a lot more bent than I thought it was. And then I had the factory four original uh, muffler with a spark arrestor screen. I didn't like the exhaust tip. It was the flat exhaust tip. I really liked the cone look. Um, I feel like it completes the bike a little bit. That's just a preference that I have. Um, and then, so getting into the spark arrestor screen. Guys, this is an important thing, especially if you live in a state like California, Arizona, Utah, Idaho, Montana, New Mexico, Washington, uh, here in Colorado, Wyoming. If you live in any of these dry states on the western side, um, it's good to have uh, because most park rangers um, and parks and recreation will require you to have a spark arrestor. Um, you can get fined if they do catch you without it. Um, with FMF, they're supposed to have a tag with it. This one did not have that tag in it. So I don't know what happened to that tag, but it does have the spark arrestor screen, but it keeps our trails open. We're, we've lost a lot of trails and over the past several years. Um, trails just keep getting smaller and smaller and disappearing. Um, so I try to do everything that I can to keep those open and follow the rules. Um, but that's a rant there for a whole nother video. I could go on and on about that, but with this exhaust system, would I buy it again? Yes, I would in a heartbeat. Um, would I recommend it to anybody? Yes, I would. I, I do think it's more geared for your more experienced rider or experienced beginner, intermediate to pro. Uh, if you're a beginner, beginner, I would stick with the exhaust, uh, the stock exhaust for as long as you can until you start overriding the bike and maybe it's time for that increase. Um, so I do know that with the newer bikes there, a lot of them are coming out with apps that you can detune the bike. And there's other ways of uh, lowering the power. And some of them have different map switches. This one doesn't. So with that being said, I do think this is uh, geared for more your upper level riders or your more experienced beginner to intermediate to pro. Um, guys, so that's all I have for you today. Uh, I'm glad to have you on the channel. Hope to see you back on the channel and uh, ride safe.